Hello everyone! I've got a story for you today called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Vista. Let's just take a look at the front cover. What do you think our story is going to be about? Now this week our challenge is best friends. Now I know that you can all be good friends and have best friends. Let's see how the rainbow fish is a good friend. A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkly silver scales among them. There he is. What a beautiful fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come on, come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past proud and silent letting his scales shimmer he didn't want to play one day a little blue fish followed after him rainbow fish he called wait for me please give me one of your shiny scales they are so wonderful and you have so many the little blue fish wants just one of rainbow fish's shiny shimmering scales. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Hmm. So the little blue fish wanted just one little shining shimmering scales but the rainbow fish won't share. What good were the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? The rainbow fish had no friends because he couldn't share. He wasn't a kind friend. And now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. There's the starfish. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Ooh. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story and this is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover to be happy. Oh, so the octopus wants rainbow fish to give all of the other fish one shining shimmering scale he wants the rainbow fish to share his beauty to share his scales i can't the rainbow fish started to say but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink give away all my scales my beautiful shiny scales never how could i ever be happy without them do you think he would be happy if he shared his scales? Let's see. Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. 
The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please, don't be angry. I just want one little scale. And the rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very, very small shimmery scale. He thought, hmm, well, maybe, maybe just one. What do you think? Should he give the little blue fish just one? One little shining, shimmering scale. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little fish bubbled playfully as he tucked up the shiny scale among his other blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. There he is, he's just given him one little scale. And the blue fish is very happy. Rainbow fish is sharing. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So he didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everybody wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right and more. The more he gave away, the more delighted he became. And when the water around him filled the glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Oh, look, he's getting less and less. But they're all getting one lovely glittering scale. He's sharing them out. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining, shimmering scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come, come on, come and play with me. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The rainbow fish had shed all of his scales and he was only left with one himself they were all the same and they were all happy and really good friends the end there he is so the rainbow fish at first wouldn't share he wouldn't share his lovely scales and all of the other fish were a little bit jealous. They really, really wanted just one. Not all of them, just one each. And then the rainbow fish felt very lonely when he wouldn't share. Nobody wanted to be his friend. Nobody wanted to play with him. So this week our challenge is best friends. And from our story, I would like you to Think about something that you really, really love and share it with a friend or a family member. Could you share one of your favourite toys or maybe some sweets? Could you make some cakes and share them? I'm really looking forward to seeing what you share and see some photos or videos. But for now, bye.